Hey everybody, and guess what? As Bruce Buffer from the UFC would say, it's time. It's time for the heavyweight championship of the world, now. Nah. Anyway, so yeah, this is it. This is this is what everyone's been asking for. It's the Galaxy S2 versus the Galaxy Nexus. And you're thinking, Sam, why are they both flat there like that? Good question, you may ask. I'm doing a, a boot up performance, complete from, you know, battery pulled. So it's going to run you from pretty much dead flat. So we're going to plug on both. We're going to put the batteries in both. We're going to boot them up. We're going to go straight into benchmarking. So, you know, there's no ifs, there's no buts. Let's see which comes out on top. Don't worry, in the future I've got some browse benchmarking on the way. Got some, you know, overall performance, just basically browsing performance, how it does perform, you know, what the screens look like, you name it. I'm gonna probably do it because it's just what I do. So yeah, here we go. So first things first, let's put these batteries in there. So let's hope we can get the uh, battery back on battery packs on them. Battery packs, did battery back. It's been a bit fiddly for the Galaxy Nexus, uh, I must admit. So there we go, we've finally got the battery back on the Galaxy Nexus, as you can see. It's a complete turn off, give it up. So there's the Nexus all nice and ready. Get the Galaxy S2 prepared. So here we go, so they're both completely turned off and we shall start them at the same time. Are you ready? No, I said, are you ready? I hope you're shouting yes at the screen right now. One, two, three. That's it, they're both turning on. Let's see which one powers on, gets to the home screen and be able to get to the applications first. Oh, Galaxy S2 looks like it could be winning. Oh, so which one can get to the application drawer and actually get the applications up first? So, here's this one. Applications. There we go. Galaxy S2 is the winner. How slow is it afterwards? Mm, a little bit slower. So, there's what everyone's been asking for. There's a uh, boot performance. So, next one we're gonna do, as we said there, we're gonna jump straight into the action, and we are gonna jump straight into the benchmarking. So we're gonna do Quadrant first of all. So let's bring up Quadrant on both of these bad boys. Quadrant. And as you all know, what I normally do around about here, is give you a good old zoom in, is I shall run the full benchmark on both, come back, and we'll see which one wins? So there we go, Galaxy S2 finished. Galaxy Next has just finished after it. Which one's gonna get the highest score? Which one should we do first? Should we look at the Galaxy S2 or should we look at the Galaxy Nexus? Well, look at the Galaxy S2. So, again, this score is going to be familiar to a lot of you. And this score that it pulls in is 2808. Very impressive from a stock rare build. And again, I'm running the, it's still 2.3.4, because that's the current one for the UK market. The round ones out there for 2.3.5, but it's 2.3.4. So, yep, then I said 2808. So then, what about the Galaxy Nexus? It is the flagship device. Will it be the Samsung Galaxy S2? Be prepared to find out. And we get, dun dun dun, ah, oh, hmm, 1740. 1740? Yes, yeah, 1740. So, in this test here, the Galaxy S2 has effectively come out on top. Now, just a quick word of warning, Quadrant's not the best benchmarking tool to be using for you know, any device, let alone these two devices. You're asking why? Because it's not the best benchmarking tool as it is anywhere. But it is as it is, everyone asks for this benchmark, I've done it for you. Next one we're gonna go into is the good old Quadrant. No, we've just done Quadrant, next we're going to is Limpack. So we shall load up Limpack on both of these ones. 
Dun dun dun. Lin Park, Lin Park, boom. Single thread first of all, shall we? So, single thread. And we get 55.533 at 1.57 against 44.999 at 1.86. Single thread again. We get a 54.402 against 45.364. Last but not least on the single thread, we get 54.261 against 45.291. So Galaxy's 2, once again, in the benchmarking applications, looks like it's winning. We'll do the multi one. Oops. And we get 85.487 against 72.265. And we get 84.249 against 70, 78.559. Uh, I'm looking for the camera. It's not the best quality screen. And last but not least... We get 82.156 against 79.56. So, as you can possibly see, Galaxy S2 beats it. But as you go along, for some reason, the Galaxy Nexus starts to get higher and higher. Whereas the Galaxy S2, for some reason, starts to get lower a little bit. It then gets a bit higher again. So, But we're looking in terms of what the scores are now. Galaxy S2 is the winner once again. As well, I mean, I'm just going to turn this display this to, to the screen timeout, my bad. So stop trying to turn off on us. So, next, we are going to be running the Antutu benchmark. This is one that's become pretty much standard in my um, ones from now on. So, as you see, I've done it on this one before, but I'm just going to run it again. And it's been a fresh install on here, so... Test and test, and here we go. Are you ready? So, once again, we're gonna probably fast forward past this one because it totally takes a bit of a while. So, stay tuned, and we will be right back. Right, so welcome back, people, and here are the scores. So, the RAM, 845, CPU integer, 1642, float points, 1272, 2D graphics, 296, 3D graphics, 1225, Debus, 315, card write speeds, 6.2 megabytes per second, SD card read speed, look at that, that is absolutely mental 50 and above CPU frequency as we know 1200 megahertz 1.2 gigahertz and that gives you an impressive 58.62 so that's 5862 so what is that bad boy in the background going to give us it's currently you can't see it is he going to win is he not going to win prepare to find out so we have a ram of 1023 CPU integer 1672 float point 1291 2D graphics 286 3D graphics 1225 database 315 read speed 8.3 8 megabytes per second can't sorry write speeds and then read speeds of 225.2 and look frequency 1200 megahertz a total score of 6087. Is that right? What does this mean? Well, there they are side by side. So you get a bit of a better indication. So, yeah, the one that surprises me is the 3D graphics identical. Because there's been a lot of a lot of people writing off the Galaxy Nexus for having you know a different GPU than you know the, for the the Mali processor in the Galaxy S2 but this benchmark here apparently says that they're identical so what does this mean for the overall test 
What does it mean in terms of the phones? Honest answer, not a lot. <laughs> Benchmarking are good to basically go, right, this is an, an indication as to where these phones currently are. Just remember that at the moment, those benchmarking applications are gingerbread. They are made for gingerbread. They're not ice cream sandwich optimised. So the Galaxy Nexus is currently at a disadvantage. And a lot of people will go, yeah, but if the Galaxy S2 gets gingerbread, gets an ice cream sandwich, sorry. And obviously a lot of people have got, if the Galaxy S2 gets ice cream sandwich, well, isn't that going to make it better than the Galaxy Nexus? Maybe. Who knows? At the moment, nobody really knows. Um, potentially no, because obviously ice cream sandwich has been designed with this hardware in mind. It's kind of like the iPhone. The iPhone is designed with hardware in mind that it knows it's going to run, it's going to run smooth. This is this hardware. They picked this hardware for a reason. They didn't do it just because they had a couple of spare chips lying around. They did it because obviously it works best with ice cream sandwich. Now, does that mean that this is going to be rubbish with ice cream sandwich? Hell no. The Galaxy S2, in my eyes, is still probably the phone to get because price-wise, it's cheaper than the Nexus. It's got currently got more support from not from the devs. It's got more support for applications because ice cream sandwich again, it's not. No, not been optimised fully by a lot of the developers. In fact, none of the developers I know of have done that yet. So, overall, the Galaxy S2 effectively wins in the benchmarking apart from the last one. Does that mean, you know, that it's the best phone out of the two? No. Does it mean that the Galaxy Nexus is the best out of the two? No. It's about what phone you want. Do you want the newest operating system out at the moment with a HD screen? You know, then Galaxy Nexus is the only choice. Are you not bothered about the screen, but you want a hell of a fast phone, uh, and you're currently happy being on gingerbread, Samsung Galaxy S2. My personal choice at the moment for me is I'd pick the Nexus, just for the fact that I'm loving ice cream sandwich, just the way it runs, the way it is. It's just got an overall kind of like nice feel to it. Does that mean that I wouldn't go back to the Galaxy S2? No, because who knows when they get an ice cream sandwich, it may just be that ultimate phone. But anyway, it's been a very long video as this one. Thanks for watching. Any questions, hit me up down below. And I shall see you in the next one.